how have you been, man? You know, and, and walk me through the process. Cause when I saw the, the, the premise of the song, you and, and first of all, congratulations on the wedding. Thank you, brother. Thank you I very much. I hope your much. wife knows she got a player for life and they know, oh, I'm sorry, that was too far, my bad. You can't do that, man. You can't. <laughs> you can't. <laughs> so how does an argument turn, how does a, 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 a spirited discussion turn into a song? When, when your wife is laying into you, a wife that normally cries about everything, you know what I mean? Because she's emotionally attached. And she says to you, you know what? I can't even cry right now. And you know, I cry about everything, but this is so stupid. You so out of control that I, I, mean, I ain't got no emotion. I'm like, ooh. So do you run to the piano after that? I want to, but I'm like, I'm about to lose my wife, but I, I guess I got a song. I got to get this song. <laughs> okay, so before we get to Can't Let It Show, did the did the discussion get solved? Is it cool? Yes. Oh no. Yeah. It got solved. It got solved. She's 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 back tearing up. She got tears now. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> she's she she's with me. But it was like I had the hook for so long, and I was like, I don't want to cover the song. I just need the hook. And if I can make the hook mine, like how do I make the hook my song? And when she said that, I was like, You are a you don't even know you a genius. You don't even know. And I'm not giving you no publishing. And I'm going to write this song. I was like, does she get any writer's credit at all, bro? She's getting the credit we're giving her right now. <laughs> She's getting it. <laughs> you you got to put, like, inspired by. Yeah. Yeah, she's definitely, yeah, she's the muse, for sure. Okay, so it, when, it, when it comes out, did you expect people's reaction to be like, oh, man, that sounds just like Maxwell's song. Like, what did you expect? I, because I know it's only for the hook. But I mean, you know, the, the obvious, you know, linkage of the two is, is unavoidable. Well, you know, my 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 even design for even creating a song was watching hip hop artists do it for the last I don't know how many years. You know what I'm saying? And I'm like, and I'm like, why don't we do that? How come we don't do that? You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. And so I was like, I was like, that I, we, we should be be, you know, we should be using those retro moments to pay homage and also build new bridges to the next you know new generation of music all, we should be doing that as well so that was my take on it so i was like i mean if, if they can do it we can do it and so right. the the thing that i knew was that if the song wasn't good then the hate would be real right oh. if it if it didn't work they would be on my head you know what i'm saying yeah, so you you would not have to ask nobody they would tell you they would say they would say and so what I knew was there would be a few people who would be like, you can't touch Maxwell or you can't touch Kate Bush. I'm like, well, Kate Bush told me it was okay. So if Kate Bush told me it was okay, then I'm going, I'm in the clear. And Maxwell, right. you know, who's a friend of mine, you know what I'm saying? I'm, 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 I'm waiting on him to, to, to give word to come up out of whatever, you know, you know, ain't no telling where Maxwell is. He'd be in his spiritual space. Can you can't interrupt him, let him work. Right. Like, you know, so, I'm waiting to hear his take on it. You know what I'm saying? I, I, I'm interested to know because it's Maxwell. You know what I'm saying? Like, he's the one who brought the music to me. That's how I found it. Um, but so far, man, I mean, the, the response has been amazing. And I think the the reason it is is just because I made it mine. I didn't try to do what they did. You know, I I, I put my own. I, I reimagined it. I didn't cover it. Right. You know what I mean? I, I think that's fair. I mean, reimagined is a, is a good way to talk about it. Uh, we're talking to, you know, of course, Tank right now. I'm Ryan Cameron Uncensored on Magic 1075, 97.5, The Real Sound of Atlanta. And so you got a new album dropping, like, in a couple of months? You know, it's, Look, it's, it, we were looking at summer, man, but the way this thing is moving and, you know, technology allows us to move faster if we need to. You know, it might be a spring album. You know, the album is called R&B Money. And, you know, it's it's... It's repositioning this R&B. People need to understand that, you know, R&B is profitable. R&B is really R&B artists out here getting to the bag and being successful and having 20, 30, 40 year careers. Let's not forget that just because the mainstream does its own thing over there. We're still here. We still have venues packed once the COVID and everything. We're still rocking. And so I want to introduce the concept of this is a lucrative business. R&B is a lucrative business and to inspire the young generation to keep pushing, keep making music that means something, that have, has a spiritual connection, that has an emotional connection. 
keep doing that because there's value in that. And I'm, and I'm going to continue to lead the way in showing you that. Do you consider yourself an OG now? I actually don't have a choice. I've been fighting the OG for a long time. And yeah. everywhere I go, they be like, what up, OG? I'm like, hey. <laughs> they, not, they, they, they ain't start calling you unk yet, have they? What's up, unk? I, I got unk like uh, we, uh, two days ago. No, no, I got unk. Not unk. <laughs> <laughs> not, uh, it's over, bro. You, you official now? <laughs> uh, listen, he said, he said, unk, that's on fire. I'm like, thanks. You know, thanks. Whatever. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, that's hilarious, bro. Well, you know what? Em embrace it with grace, man. I mean, because yes, that just shows your, your longevity. I mean, it's so many, it, it, you know, as long as you're not on one of those TV shows where they say it was all going good for Tank until then. And then it's some kind of some crazy. No, happened, I got to right? I got to thank I got to thank the creator, man, that in 2000, you know, a record dropped and changed my life. And in 2021, I'm dropping a record and it's changing my life. Like I can't. I, I couldn't ask for anything more, man. So I take everything that comes along with it, man. I'm still, listen, I'm still in the mirror plucking the gray hairs, though. Okay? I'm, I'm, right. I'm, I'm, I'm going to take my hey. time. Hey, what my grandmother used to always say, be careful plucking them gray hairs because they'll call for reinforcements. Then two will come back, right? <laughs> <laughs> hey, I'll be in there with two tweets. Like this. <laughs> Talking to Tank right now, man. Your fan base is, is very solid. They love you. Any reservations at all about moving your life to the next phase and settling down and, and, and taking on a, a significant other where, you know, I mean, any reservation at all about, you know, man, dang, because people always thought, you know, well, you know, Tank is always available, even in their mind, even though they don't mm -hmm. physically, it mm -hmm. may not ever happen. Any reservation about that at all? Any thoughts about it? And before you did it? At that point, no. Before that, yes. You know what I'm saying? Because our business revolved. You know, it revolved around that, you know what I'm saying? The the idea of, of it all, you know what I'm saying? And women being able to put themselves in that position. And I was like, well, you know, if they want, if, if women want to see themselves in that position with a single man, um, imagine seeing a man that's taking care of his kids, um, taking care of his wife, um, providing on lev every level imaginable, being a, being a true professional in his career, like, I think a woman would rather imagine herself in that position um, than just another girl. You know what I mean? Oh, and, I feel, yeah. and I felt like me get me being married and, and all of these other things that come along with that. There's more value in that than me being some playboy running around here, uh, checking, checking through my options. I think women, <laughs> we, I think women deeply, even though, you know, the, 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 the hot girl summer and, and twerk nation is real deep down, um, a woman values security and values a man who knows how to provide that. And so I decided to lean toward towards being that example. Yeah. Let's move to uh, some of the stuff you got in the can, man. April 17th, you know, you got this T.D. Jakes film. Talk about it. Yeah, they moved, they moved it up. So now our movie, Lust, is April 10th. So, um, and then Envy is going to be April 17th. And it's... Uh, you know, it's, it's my turn. I'm making the turn. You know what I mean? Going, going real hard uh, into acting, going, going even harder into my stand up and um, making this year really, you know, re really a really concentrated effort um, in those directions. And when they called, Keith called me, Keith Neal called me, said, man, I got a part for you. It's going to be crazy. Uh, you know what I'm saying? Read, read the script. And I read the script and I was like, I need it. And Tobias Trevelyan, who's on there, he's he's a monster. Carrie Hilson, she doing her thing for real, for real. Um, and and they added me to it, man. And I got told Latoya Luckett in there, and it's going to be a great film, man. Great director, star Victoria. Um, all the pieces all around this film, man, were just it was beautiful, bro. Like it was one of them things where like there there were no problems, no issues, no nothing. It was love every day, man. Every day we got the set, we just had a good time. And you'll be able to see that in this film, man. We were able to lock in. And um, and do what we do, really do what we do. So, walk me through going from dressing room to stage, performing, and, and just going out there and giving it all to sitting in the trailer, 
<laughs> waiting on them to say come to the set for it's, hours. <laughs> yes, for hours. One time I was sitting for eight hours like this. This is how y'all roll. Y'all roll like this. <laughs> this is how we rocking. You know what I'm saying? Um, it's different, right? But like, I mean, what I've experienced in music, like, you know, it takes so long to get to the point to, to where people don't really play no games. You know what I'm saying? To where you don't have to worry about your back end, to where you don't have to worry about the promoter doing this or worry about the venue doing that. Like, it takes a minute to get to that point. And with acting, once you get the gig and you sign that contract, there are no more games. Lock in, get your get get your mind right in terms of the character that you're going to be, and let's go. The worst thing about that space is what you just named. Sometimes you're just sitting waiting. You know what I mean? But that's the worst part of it. The fact right. that you're sitting in your trailer watching movies, waiting for them to tell you to come to set. And so um, I get to lock in in a different kind of way, man, that, that, that I love, man. I get to like really like dig in and not, there's no, there's no outside noise with acting. You know what I'm saying? So, it's just the camera. So, you know, with the time we got left, can we talk about the podcast and, and the YouTube thing. And I got to get back to the stand-up. You got to give me some more insight on what you're doing with that. Absolutely. Um, podcast, r Money Podcast. We just felt like, you know, me and my partner, Jay Valentine, we're like, man, we are active in this. We're doing this. This is what we do. We do r music. Who better to do a podcast? Who better to talk to the Hers and the Jasmine Sullivan's and the Chris Browns, the Jacquees of the world and the Keith Sweats and the Eric Benet's? Like, who better than us? You know what I mean? And so we started it. We filmed it. Um, we're working on uh, working on the deal for the first season. So that's going to be really dope, man. The YouTube thing with the family Babs to the bone. Just wanted to give again that good example, man. Like we got a dope, fun family. Everything is not always peaches and creams. We have our own natural, organic ups and downs as you do. We're human just like you. And we just wanted to give some insight into that. You know what I'm saying? Maybe some of what we're going through or some of what we've been through um, can help help somebody else. Maybe some of the fun that we're having can rub off on somebody else. Just all good energy. And then, um, but back to the stand up, man, I've been, I've been, I've been just on stand up stages for like the last two years. Like I would do it during my show. At the end of my show, I would do crowd work with the piano and all of that stuff and do setups and everything. But then I was like, man, I really want to do stand up. No cheating, no laughing at my joke because I'm tank. Like none of that. I'm going to go in stand up rooms. I'm going to go on improvs. I'm going to go on, on, on cards with Cisco Duran and Carlos Mencia and, and be in rooms where people have no idea who I am and these jokes better work. And that's yeah. how I started building. That's how I started building. So it, any plans on doing something in Atlanta? Anytime I did you? something in Atlanta. I did something with Clay. Um, but is it tripping on Sundays? I'm talking about like an improv stage, man. I'm like the dad's garage and and these places down here, like I want to, I, I want to bring my, the crowd. I want to come on, man. Come on. My first time on, doing man. comedy. My first time doing stand up. I opened for Chris Spencer at Uptown Comedy Club. That was my first time doing it. You're improv though, boy. That's that's what I want to see. Let's get the improv. I I I, let's, I do I do stand up, man. Uh, <laughs> hey, I, I'm not doubting you, bro. I'm not doubting you, man. Don't be so aggressive, man. I'm your, I'm your friend. I'm your friend. <laughs> <laughs> hey so look this is what we're gonna do i'm, I'm we're gonna figure it out and when you have a, a moment we're gonna try to make it happen because you know we'll pack the bill and i want to you know always like I, before we close man anything that i've done anything that i've asked from a, a talk show to a variety show it's always been tank and you've always been like whatever ryan so that's yes, why when they said they was like man tank is expecting you and I was like, man, I don't had like five vodkas, but you know, <laughs> he always show up. <laughs> he always show up for me, so let me show up for my boy. Listen, I am not mad at your beverages. I'm going to go grab me one as soon as we get up. <laughs> hey, man, congratulations on everything. We look forward to you know the movies and and, and all the stuff that you're doing, bro. And, and so, do we have a a, a real hard date? Again, for people that are just tuning in, Tank on the radio right now, Magic 175, 975. It's going to drop. What's the date? We don't have a hard day. Don't have a hard day. Coming we, we in, the, in the spring, summer. Spring, summer. We would we would love to. Like, we just, it's just happening in a way that 
I didn't expect at all. It's just, it's, 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 a, it's really dope, man. So if the people need it sooner, we'll have to give it to them soon. There you go, brother. Congratulations, man. All the love to the family, man. You yes, always sir. been A1. And you know, you know what it is? 100%. Why? Appreciate you, brother, man. Good to see uh, you, man. Thank you, bro. Absolutely. Peace.